Welcome to another healing conversation brought to you by AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey here with Tamara Oviet from Hi. Sacred Activations. Yay. Hi. Hi. Well, wow. We can say that in the six weeks, no, yes, six weeks. It's been about six weeks. Since we did the abundance and prosperity activations, things have changed. So let's check in with each other. <laughs> we were talking a little bit about these sacred activations. What they've done for me, personally, is allowed me to see mental constructs that are actually holding me back. So please share more about this because these activations come from on high. Yes. They're silent. Yes. And they remove us from collective consciousness. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's what the activations do, is they remove you from the collective consciousness beliefs. They bring up your belief systems that are buried very deep, be it from a past life, from genetics, and again, from the collective consciousness. And what it does is it starts coming up, showing you what you believe, and then those belief systems that were holding you back start transforming and leaving. And if it's things you need to work on, it's going to bring the information very clearly to you on what it is you need to change. And they keep working, like you said, six weeks later. Um, I've had a lot of act activations that take three, six weeks, even three months to totally integrate and to change. And in that time, all those belief systems just keep coming up and then you just look back however much time it is and notice how much you've completely changed. It was a full shakeup on a foundation. We were talking about a foundation. When you say that this brings up things, it really does let us know how our foundation needs work. Yes. And wow. That's what I'm going through with my company right now too. My foundation of my company, the holes in it are being shown to me so that they can be sewn up and made strong so that the foundation is completely and totally there mm -hmm. to go to that next level. And I think that's what happens with the activations with everybody throughout their whole life. What is it you need to shift to be able to go to that next level of your evolution? And as far as I know, these activations are the fastest and most powerful way to bring you to that next level. Mm-hmm. It's interesting that you mentioned past lives because when we work on our past lives and start to identify what we've experienced in past lives, it goes hand in hand because we've, we can see that this past life created that belief. So, right. But that also helps, happens in genetics or, um, or even town imprints because we can mm -hmm. pick up on stuff in our town and be living in that energy because that's also a collective consciousness. So it's it's important to clear out from the collective consciousness. I've worked on things for years and they didn't they changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. But when I cleared it out of the collective consciousness, that's when it totally shifted. And that's really what this work is all about is changing the collective consciousness to peace, love and abundance for all. How do we do that? We remove people from the fear and the suffering group consciousness that is so prevalent on the planet mm -hmm. and the more we unplug people from that third dimensional grid system of that fear and suffering um, and um, plug them into the unconditional love peace and abundance for all you know the the world is just really shifting into that and this work really helps them do that so it helps when we work on ourselves it helps thousands of other people because we're all connected oh I would say that these days it's millions if not a billion with just the few tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of light workers on the planet that are awakened at the moment so the collective consciousness then let's talk a little bit about money because we know that light workers we were talking earlier light workers have a belief and maybe you listening have this belief that spirit gets angry when we involve money but really, money is the prana of the earth plane, and it's currency, and it's a, an exchange of value, and no one's going to value ourselves more. And here's an example. If we have a coaching program that we go and invest in, we're going to learn from that coaching program because we've invested our money in it. 
So really it's, it's removing these barriers that even talk about money and spirituality. That's a big one. That is a big one. And that was one I had to really deal with myself mm -hmm. because I was the biggest martyr on the planet. I had my website set up as donation only mm -hmm. because I really wanted to help everybody and I was really locked into healing. You can't get paid for that. And that's wrong because it is all energy. It is energy and we're cha exchanging energy and you have to invest energy to receive energy, right? So, and it's all about sharing that. And I have activations. I mean, you know, are you a martyr? So you let people run all over you. The debtor's prison. Um, the collective wound is all about, it's a, it's, um, survival is a struggle. And it's, you, you struggle to survive, you know? And then there's even the disciples' returns for the healers that there's a lot of healers that are afraid to even be in their power because they're afraid they're going to be killed for it. Mm -hmm. So all these activations pull you out of that collective consciousness, clear it out of your past life, clear it out of your genetics so that you can truly be who you are. And it, it is a process and people do need to invest in it. Um, but my activations, I charge $35 a piece for them. And if you look at the power behind one of those activations, I only charge 10% really of, of, of the value of it. I mean, the value is easily $300, $400 each for what it does for you. And even on some of those, that's low. I mean, what would you pay for an addiction redirection, you know, to be clear of an addiction? My son was addicted to heroin. I did the addiction redirection on him, and a year later, he's clean. Mm. And the girl that was with him, the same thing. I ran into her. It took two months. Like you said, it takes time to process. It took her two months to get clean, but I ran into her six months later after I spent five minutes doing this work with her, and she was clean, and she had a spiritual awakening. It totally mm -hmm. changed her life. Yeah, really, really powerful. So for those of you listening, and that this is your first introduction to Tamara, share with us the story of how these activations came to you. You were <laughs> traveling at the World's Sacred Sites, which are the gateways to higher dimensions. Yeah, I was actually in um, England and I was with this gentleman and I was wondering why in the hell I was there, excuse my language, because he was definitely not a soulmate. And um, so I went on a walk, I'm like, why in the hell am I here, God? <laughs> you know, and, um, and when I asked God that question, I was told to go to the Roslyn Chapel. And when I went to the Roslyn Chapel, um, I went up to God and I asked for this download of this information because it said under the Roslyn Chapel is the sun distal, which hold, which activate the 12 strands of DNA. So when I sat in a pew and I told God I was ready for this, I was told to go to the sixth plane, which is the laws and the Cossack records of the universe. So when I went into the sixth plane, I was met by Lord Metatron. And at the time I didn't know who he was. So I asked him who he was introduced himself as Lord Metatron and I said what are you doing here and he said I'm here to assist you so I received the first um, activations it's funny I was watching a movie the other night where you see all these codes and numbers and stuff coming in that's exactly what was happening I, I was watching all these numbers and these codes coming into my energy field and interesting yeah and then it was followed up by these golden seals and then I was told to give these activations to others. That started it. I spent over eight months in Europe going to the different sacred sites. And by the time I left Europe, I did a practitioner training already. And I had, I think, like 16 activations. And today, which is two years later since this all started, I have over 80 activations. Incredible. And they just keep coming in there for every facet of our life. Yes. So we're going to do a little activation today, but first, take us to the seventh plane and tell us about that. Okay, so just imagine that you can bring your energy down into Mother Earth. Imagine that you could, you're like this beautiful tree and you have this amazing root system. And imagine that you can go down in that root system and you just feel that unconditional love of the mother and just allow that energy to wrap your body 
And just feel that love going through every single cell of your body. Now just imagine that this energy can come up and it comes into your heart chakra. And when it goes into your heart chakra, there's this beautiful ball of light that surrounds you and that you can be in this ball of light. And imagine that you can come up through the top of your head and you go up through all the lights. We're gonna go through all the layers. So imagine you go into this beautiful, beautiful, bright, bright light that is known as the fourth plane of existence. And we also know it as heaven. Now imagine you can go into the fifth plane, which is where the masters are. A beautiful gold light. See this gold light? Now imagine that you go into this jello type substance. This is the sixth plane. This is the laws of the universe. This is also where the Akashic records are held. Laws of time, laws of truth, and laws of abundance. Imagine you go through there and you go into the sparkly, sparkly white light. Go deep, 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 deep into the sparkly white light. This is the seventh plane of existence. This is the creator of all that is. This is everything. And you are this. You come from this. This is part of you. This is your birthright. Just to be part of this. And to allow yourself to connect to this. And to be in this every day as you live your life on earth. It's very important to also ground and connect into Mother Earth because that's also part of you and that's how you're showing up on the planet right now. And anytime you go into this, you can ask any questions and you get true answers. I go here before I connect with any angels or masters or do anything. So just allow this energy, this beautiful energy to go through every single cell of your body. Feel this love and this connection. Now bring this energy back down into Mother Earth. Going back through the top of your head, going through your feet, going back into Mother Earth. And really connect back into that energy. And then bring that energy back up to the top of your head. And open your eyes when you're ready. So simple and yet so potent and powerful. It really is bringing heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. That's what this is all about. That's what this time is about. You know, a lot of people talk about every 26,000 years we kind of blow ourselves up and we start over. Um, this time we get to make it because we are bringing heaven on earth and that's what that really means is living in our sacred heart. Because we, when we live in our heart and not in our head, we can create amazing things through love and shift the whole world because we're all connected. This time we get to make it because we are going to our heart and that's what's going on with people. It's everything that is in their lives that does not come from the heart is shifting and changing. That's a lot, that's a tall order because everything was created with the mental drive as we were talking earlier about collective consciousness on money attitudes, mm -hmm. it's, it's just amazing to see. Since we were little kids, we were told, go make something out in the world. Right. And so now, yes, we are creating from the heart. So is there an activation for heart expansion? Yes, but there's three steps. Okay. There's the Christ consciousness, which plugs you into the fifth dimensional unconditional love. And then there's the Mother Mary, which really allows you to love the world as you would your infant child. And then there is the Sacred Heart. And the reason I'm telling you there's three, because in these activations, there's a lot of times there's three levels. 
you can't I can't just take you into your sacred heart one it would take too long to process two it could be too overwhelming or three you wouldn't even feel anything so what we're gonna start with is your Christ consciousness which is really plugging you into the fifth dimension which will start allowing you to really love yourself and when you can do that then you can love others and you stop judging yourself more and you stop judging others mm -hmm. so that's the first one out of these three and so I can do that one for you yes beautiful okay Christ consciousness yes so just allow your thoughts to go anywhere they go as I am doing this activation this activation also activates your flower of life in sacred geometry Just imagine that you can bring your energy back down through Mother Earth. Go deep, deep, deep down into Mother Earth. Bring your energy back up. back up to the top of your head. That's the Christ consciousness. Wow. That was amazing for me. And I know that you all listening, watching, felt that in your own way. When you let us, let our minds wander anywhere, it was so soft and sweet. There's no problems. There's no worries. I thought that was quite fascinating. Very cool. It's just so gentle and trickled down. So wonderful. Sacred Activations with Tamara Oviat. Now you have a course for this to get out into the world. There are practitioners that you train. Yes. So talk a little bit about some of those programs. I have three levels of training at this time there's two more that have been brought to me by spirit which I haven't connected with yet um, the first level um, teaches you how to do 26 activations and how to do it one-on-one -on -one with people and um, with the sacred energy it teaches you how to change emotions and and how to use that energy to clear the body the auric field and um, and how to just change emotions with it plus how to do the sacred activations. Um, six of the sacred activations line up your sacred geometry. So you're lining up your tree of life, your fruit of life, which is the 13 chakras. Imagine how powerful that is. Mm -hmm. Clearing out all that stuff from all those chakras. There's the Lord Metatron cube. There's the tree of life. The tree of life is the Moses codes. And I offer that free on my website. 
Okay. And that, that lines up your tree of life. You know, the Christ consciousness is your flower of life. Um, these activations line you up. Our whole universe is made of sacred geometry, and so are we. So when we're out of sorts, we're out of sorts with the world, with the universe, with ourselves. So when we line all that up, then we're able to line up with who we truly are and our true power. Mm -hmm. So in the practitioner training, in the first one, I, I teach you how to use this energy. It's a very quick moving um, training and you get all the activations during the training because you're giving them to someone and then someone's giving them to you. So you're like double getting the activations, which is really, really nice. And then there's a master's practitioner where I teach you how to work with large groups. And then you learn another 50 activations in that. So you're getting like 50 activations in three days and it's just quite amazing. And you're doing it with the group and you're learning how to witness it and not be in the energy because it's important when you're doing large groups. Um, to be able to stay out of, know how to stay out of the energy so, so you don't knock yourself out. Yeah. Because the energy is so powerful. And then there's the mastering, the master's program, which um, I've done it twice now and it's so amazing. It really teaches you and there's more activations in it. I didn't know there was going to be any activations. I just knew it was really working with the masters. And then two weeks before the program, because I just knew I had to do this, had no idea what was going to be involved. There's no manual for it. And then I started receiving these activations. And one of them I received was um, to called Total Body Connection. And I was doing a practitioner training and they're working on each other. So I went and laid down in my room for like a half hour. And all of a sudden the energy started on me. I said, okay, you guys, what are you doing? And I heard Total Body Connection. And I'm one that has not really been in my body in this lifetime. I'm more at, better at it now than I was. But when this happened to me, um, the energy started. I said, okay, well, what do you mean by that? And the next, they bring me into my toe. Mm -hmm. And I looked like I was looking through a microscope, seeing everything that was going on in my toe. And I went, okay, that's interesting. And then they brought me... They brought me into my spleen, and my spleen's all, what are you doing here? You don't even think I'm important. Oh. And oh. it was right, because I didn't think spleens were important, because you don't need them to survive. I remember this as a teenager. And then it brought me into my brain, and it showed me my brain operating. And then it brought me into my kidneys, and my kidneys told me off. They said, you, th you treat us that we're your... your were your dad's kidneys, were your kidneys. Quit saying you inherited your dad's kidneys. Mm. My dad was on dialysis. Mm -hmm. And so my kidneys told me off and told me I needed to change that. And it was like, wow, what an experience. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the master's um, practitioner, the master in the masters. And then you're really learning to embody the energy of Lord Metatron, Mary Magdalena, Mar Mother Mary, Jesus, all of these beings are coming in during this training to really teach you how to be at that vibration because we are that. So, so it's it's truly remarkable experience. It it really really is. Yeah. That explains the Christ consciousness activation we just did, <laughs> and the reason why there was no, at least on my part, maybe your part too, no mental thinking that went on. It was like fluttering like leaves in the wind. Yay. So you all have a chance to experience Tamara Oviatt in an online healing retreat. This will be the second one we've done. And these are fascinating two hour time periods that we get to enjoy. This one will be a little bit different, but we invite you to join in that. And also there are activations that Tamara has in a special package for you on this page. And when we're working with the masters and these ascended masters, you said that we are raising our vibrations up to meet their vibration. And there's different vibrations. How can you tell the difference between the masters and their vibration? Mary Magdalene versus Jesus. It's all different. Mm -hmm. It's all different. And you can 
instantly feel the energy. Well, I, I see them all. I talk to them all. You see them. Yeah, I see them and talk to them. So, and in then, your mind's eye, or yeah, mm, mm -hmm. there are people who see them actually in the room. Yeah, well, in I can the, do that too sometimes. Soft eyes. Oh yeah, softening the focus. Uh -huh. Not being hard I'm in like the glitz. Metatron's right there. Ah. Oh. Before years and years ago, when I first started all of this, I couldn't see them. You know, and how it started with me was like doing hypnosis with a client that had lost a child. Mm -hmm. And um, I could, when I was guiding her through hypnosis, I could see the child and where this lady was so distraught, she couldn't even hear him talking to her. So I could bring the messages through, I could see him, I could describe him. And that's how it started. And then, um, you know, through hypnosis and stuff like that. So that'd really be a good way for people to practice, go down in a guided meditation and see it. And then you'll be able to just start seeing it in, in you know, your 3D world um, when you've practiced enough that you'll be able to really connect with them. Okay. Yeah, it's like a muscle at the gym when we get a little yes. bit stronger, just a lot of practice. Right. Well, that's one thing with the um, activations, too, that Creator shared with me that a lot of these activations we should do three times because every time you do them, they're going to shift your energy that much more because you can't go the, in the gym and start out with a five pound weight and then switch to a hundred pound weight. You need to work your way up. So with these activations, they also do that with you, with your energy. So don't be scared. I mean, we shared some experiences that we went through. It was a shake up, but it was all for the highest good of all. Oh, To be relieved in the fact that I was able to see something in my life yeah. that to release it, to say, okay, what if just a small shift in my attitude was miraculous in... In your whole business. In the whole business. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah, and I mean, stuff will come up and beliefs will come up and, and you might get frustrated, but, but that's clearing. And when it's cleared, you're <laughs> like, wow, I feel amazing. Yeah. So I know when I get to a point where I'm frustrated and a lot's going on, I know it's clearing a lot of stuff out so that the next level I'm really excited again. So, and that's kind of what's going on with me right now. I'm doing another shift. <laughs> and I'm like, thank you, God, because I know I'll be so much better. Yes, well, it, it, it feels really good to clear uh, these energies. Yeah, absolutely. So, moving on right now before we go, we also have Metaforms, Gregory Hogue, who's been on Healing Conversations. And these are um, his Eye Connect, Sacred Geometry. Tamara is wearing the heart Oops, pendant. I'm wearing the heart pendant. What do you feel? What's, what are you, what's your take on this beautiful tool? Um, you know, I feel more grounded. Grounded. I feel more grounded when I'm wearing or have his, his, um, his forms around me. Like I have a Metatron cube mm -hmm. next to my bed and I feel like it helps me sleep more. Oh. So because I can be a little spacey and kind of out, I need to really practice grounding and connecting into Mother Earth. And I feel when I'm doing webinars and I have these around me, I'm able to stay more grounded and connected. Grounded. Yep. And grounded, we can ask this on our last question here. We used to not understand what grounding meant, but really grounding is... Connecting to Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Do what I just showed you to do, and it will help you show up in your life more, and it will help you be more stable in your life, and it will help you... Um, clear things out and, and just to really be able to stay more focused. Wonderful. Tamara Ovi at Sacred Activations and please join us for our next online healing retreat and more. Thank Look forward you. to seeing you there. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.